Welcome back <coughs> to the back rooms. <coughs> An incredibly expansive, seemingly infinite dimension with multiple different levels resembling corrupted Uncanny Valley liminal spaces. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you should definitely watch my other stuff on it because you might be confused. Today's fever dream of a back rooms cartoon is about level relativity. This level has the same pea stained carpeting and walls as level zero, but because of the additional anomalous properties, it can hardly be called similar. Level relativity, also known as level 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 level, is a series of stairs and hallways arranged in a seemingly impossible structure that resembles the painting Relativity by M.C. Escher. The laws of nature do not apply on this level the same way it does in your dimension. Here, everything is relative, including gravity. Each stairway can be used by wanderers who belong to two different gravity sources. This creates interesting phenomena, such as in the top stairway, where two inhabitants use the same stairway in the same direction on the same side, but each using a different face of each step. Thus, one descends the stairway as the other climbs it even while moving in the same direction, nearly side by side. In other stairways, wanderers are climbing the stairs upside down, but based on their own gravity source, they are climbing normally. If you jump high enough, you can actually change gravity fields and fall down onto other stairs. While this is dangerous and has resulted in a lot of unconventional neck bone orientations for idiots, it can be used strategically to get to some previously inaccessible areas on this level and to escape some of the less physically capable entities. Each field seems to affect more than just gravity, as there have been reported distortions in things such as visual perspective, time, and sexual preferences. If two wanderers in two planes with significantly different timescales are looking at one another, one would appear to be moving as if they were in a time lapse, and vice versa, they look like they were in slow motion. Level relativity is home to several entities, one of which being memory worms. Memory worms live on multiple different levels. They're massive bloated wiggly worms with large teeth that spiral down the length of their entire body. These worms have mind-boggling metaphysical abilities. They hunt based on creating illusions relative to the victim's memories. If you see a big slimy worm and then your reality suddenly dissolves and you're watching your old favorite TV show for the first time in your old house getting nostalgic oral from your ex, <laughs> thanks. They eat their prey whole, digest it partially, and then give birth to a ton of little wormlings made out of the remains. Like most methods of reproduction, what you would consider gross, this species considers so arousing they'd just pay someone to watch. These wormlings can be smashed up and boiled with almond water to create memory juice. Be careful when collecting these creatures, as too many wormling bites can lead to amnesia and even a vegetative state. Memory juice just gets you high as balls. Maybe it has something to do with your memory. I don't fucking remember. People say it helps you accept your situation in the back rooms and reduce your stress. I know lots of people who do this. You don't have to live in the back rooms to need to drink something to get high as balls to accept your situation. It's just called alcoholism. Wanderers report that it's not addictive and they can stop anytime they want, but also don't check the wiki. An entity that can only be found in level relativity are the staircase mollusks. They may be hard to see at first as they are camouflaged amongst the mucus colored walls and floors. They have thick shells that resemble the wallpaper and a muscular foot like a snail that has a slimy texture similar to the damp semen crusted carpet. They can flatten out against a wall to disguise themselves and then pop into the air like those weird pop things that iDub made a giant one of that you can get as a reward for not biting the dentists more than three times. They can stick to any surface and are incredibly skilled at navigating gravity fields while hunting. They often launch full speed at a wanderer, switching gravity fields in the middle, subsequently accelerating their attack, shattering the wanderer's bones on impact with their thick chitinous shell. Afterwards, the mollusk will sit on top of the victim, its muscular foot oozing a digestive enzyme for a few hours before leaving behind only a spooky skeleton. Mm. Oh yeah, by the way, I made this whole fucking level up because the back rooms has like three cannons at this point. And I was like, fuck it, let's make it four. I mean like memory worms and the worm juice are actually real. They're from the wiki and I plagiarized a little part of this from MC Escher's Relativity Wikipedia page. But the rest, I was just pulling stuff out of my ass. I had you though, didn't I? Anyways, that's it for this time. If you want more of what the moist crevices and corners of this dimension has to offer, make sure to like, comment, subscribe with all notifications enabled so I know you want any more. Oh yeah, you want. What the f was that? Are you serious? This is torture. You're torturing me and everyone else watching. Wait. 
I like this. This is cute. I want this inside of me.